Hi, now here we've got an example on integration that if you haven't tried it already and like to give it a go, you can just pause the video, come back when ready and check your work solution with mine. So what have we got here? We've got to use integration to find the integral of 1 over x cubed multiplied by the natural log of x. We've got to integrate this with respect to x and then go on to find out what the value is when we have our limits between x equals 1 and x equals 2. Okay, so uh, let's see how we would go about this one. Well, first of all, let's just put part A and we've got the integral then of 1 over x cubed multiplied by the natural log of x integrated with respect to x. So to do something like this, what I notice is that we've got a product here of two functions of x. 1 over x cubed multiplied by the natural log of x. And for something like this, we have to use the rule integration by parts. So just as a quick reminder, here's the formula. Okay, I've done examples on integration by parts. Uh, you can find these examples and tutorials on it on my website, examsolutions.net. But we have the integral then of u times dv dx, all integrated with respect to x, is equal to uv minus the integral of v du by dx, integrated with respect to x. Now, in the past, I've shown you that when you get integration by parts questions that have a natural log of x in, it's that part that you call u. So we're going to have u is the natural log of x, meaning that 1 over x cubed is the other part, which is dv by dx. So to do this then, it's u times v. Natural log of x is u, so let's just put that down. Put that down in brackets, and we multiply that by v. v is the integral of the other part. So if I think of 1 over x cubed at the moment as x to the power minus 3, then integrating that, I've just got to add 1 to the power, so that's x to the power minus 2, and divide by that new power, so divide by minus 2. Okay, so we just put that in brackets there. Then it's minus, okay, the minus here, the integral of v. v being the part that we've just got here. So that's going to be x to the minus 2 over minus 2. But if I tidy that up, that is minus 1 over 2x squared. Okay, that's x to the minus 2 over minus 2 is minus 1 over 2x squared. And we multiply this now by the differential du dx, the differential of u with respect to x. So we differentiate the natural log of x to give us 1 over x. Let's just put that in brackets. 1 over x, and all of this is now integrated with respect to x. Okay? Next, I want to uh, just tidy this up. So writing x to the minus 2 over minus 2 as minus 1 over 2x squared. We'll just pop that in as minus 1 over 2x squared. And then we've got that multiplied by the natural log of x. So we don't need any brackets anymore on that. Tidying this up, we've got minus minus, so it's plus. And then we've got 1 over 2, half, so we can bring that out the front of the integral. And then Tidying up the x parts here, we've got 1 over x cubed. So 1 over x cubed, and this is integrated with respect to x. So just put this down again as minus 1 over 2x squared, natural log of x, that's the first term. Now when it comes to integrating this, we've got our plus a half. Again, think of x cubed, 1 over x cubed is x to the power minus 3. We already integrated that and got x to the minus 2 over minus 2. Add 1 to the power, x to the minus 2 over minus 2. All right. So also we mustn't forget our constant of integration, which I'll call plus c. So tidying this one up, again we've got the first term, minus 1 over 
2x squared multiplied by the natural log of x. But for this term, it's now going to be minus, and we've got 2 times minus 2 is the 4, 4 on the bottom, so that's going to give us 1 over 4, and we've got x to the minus 2, so that's 1 over 4x squared. And again, we've got the plus C, the constant of integration. Okay, so there we go, the integral of 1 over x cubed times the natural log of x integrated with respect to x. Okay, So we now go on to part b. Now in part b then all we've got to do is work out what the integral is then. Let's just copy it in again 1 over x cubed natural log of x with respect to x. We've got to work out what this is between the limits x equals 1 to x equals 2. So it just means that we've got this result here. We don't need the constant c. We just copy that result in. Let's put it in. And then we'll put it between those limits. So we've got minus 1 over 2x squared natural log of x minus 1 over 4x squared between the limits of 1 and 2. OK? So if we substitute 2 through first of all, let's just shift that across a bit because I think it's going to be quite long. If we put the 2 through first of all, we're going to have minus 1 over 2 times 2 squared. So that's 2 times 4, which is 8. And then natural log of 2. And then we've got minus 1 over 4 times 2 squared. 2 squared is 4. 4 falls to 16, so you've got minus 1 over 16. And then we put the 1 through. And I can see that if we do the natural log of 1, the natural log of 1 is 0. So that first term here is going to be 0 then. And then put the 1 in here, and you've got minus a quarter. OK, now clean this up. What have we got? So let's take the um, minus 1 16th and plus a quarter. So that's going to be a total of, well, a quarter is going to be 4 16ths minus 1 16th, that's 3 16ths. And then we've got minus 1 8th natural log of 2. So there you go, our answer. Or you could take this further. You could pull out a sixteenth, you could pull out a sixteenth, and then that will give you 3 minus 2 natural log of 2. And I can see that you could even, in fact, just take the 2 up, okay? You could take the 2 using the rules for logs and get 1 sixteenth of 3 minus natural log of 2 squared, natural log of 4. So there's other versions, but I feel that you could get away with that, or you could do that, okay? So uh, leave it up to you. Well, there you go. That brings us now to the end of this example.